So how did you go from working as a nurse into the adult industry? You started exploring like new sexual um, adventures with your husband. Is that right? Yeah. So, um, so my husband and I, we've been married for eight years, um, started off as like a monogamous couple, just the two of us. Um, we've always had a really fun sex life. Uh, but in the last, I think it was about four years ago now, um, we decided to kind of go down a new path. And that's the, uh, the, the hot wife, as they call it, path. Um, over the years that we've known each other, our, um, I guess, sort of bedroom um, role play always kind of came back to these themes that were like hot wife themes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we would role play it. And it was something that developed kind of slowly over the years. But we never actually went out and and actively participated um, in involving other people in our, our relationship okay. for years and years. But it was always like that was like our fun role play. And that's what would really get us both going. There was a lot of factors that kind of like made us decide, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it was like, <sighs> there was the pandemic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pandemic changed a lot of people's um, dynamics in their relationships. Yeah. Um, it also, you know, people were bored, people were at home, people were experimenting with new things. Um, it was also the, even just my workplace, like I needed an outlet, something <laughs> outside of this crazy, you know, COVID pandemic emergency, all this stress and unknown and fear. Um, and then come home and, and some people had outlets that were, you know, hobbies or sports or activity or yoga. Baking bread. Baking bread. A lot of people bread. were baking bread yeah. during COVID. I, I said, screw it to the bread. Let's mm -hmm. have a better sex life. Let's do crazy kinky things. Um, so that was sort of our at-home outlet. I remember specifically, I had um, some girlfriends who were who were dating and they were telling me about how much better dating during the pandemic was because when you meet somebody online, there's no pressure to meet them in person and you get to kind of have these conversations yeah. in text without getting together because everybody was scared of being in person with mm -hmm. people. And I used that. That stuck with me. And my husband and I decided, why don't I make like a Tinder account and I can start flirting with guys and nobody's going to expect me. I can be like, oh, pandemic, sorry, I can't come over. Yeah. We're just going to flirt a bit. Yeah. And that was the first step into sort of evolving our sex life into not just role play, but involving, I guess, other other forms, like actual people, mm -hmm. but from a safe distance, just over the phone. Like I would be, you know, sexting or, mm -hmm. or something. And then my husband and I would have this like amazing sex afterwards. So that was sort of the first step into it. It was a safe way to involve other people without involving other people, yeah. you know? And I, I won't mention which girlfriend it was, but she doesn't realize that she was the one who <laughs> inspired me to start doing that. And after that, I started, you know, talking to more and more guys and more guys. And eventually we were like, this is so exciting. And, and my husband was like, I am okay if you want to meet up with one of these people that you've been talking to for a bit. And so I did. And that was like 2020, I think. Um, and after that, we were officially a hot wife couple. And I would go out and, and see other men. and. Uh, come back home and my husband and I would just have a great time together. Afterwards. Wow. 